Hi there, this is Mr. Boyd. Today, I will show you how to install Kali Linux on Windows 10. Kali Linux is an open source, Debian-based Linux distribution geared towards various information security tasks, such as penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. From information gathering to final reporting, Kali Linux enables security and IT professionals to assess the security of their systems. Okay, let's begin. To install Kali Linux, we will need to install WSL2 on Windows 10. Windows Subsystem for Linux, WSL, allows you to install a complete terminal environment in minutes on your Windows machine, allowing you to develop cross-platform applications without leaving Windows. To install WSL, click the Start menu and type Turn Windows Features On or Off. Click the top result. In the Windows Features window, find Virtual Machine Platform and Windows Subsystem for Linux and check the box next to them to enable them. Restart your PC. Next, click the Start menu and type Store. Click Microsoft Store from the top results. Search for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Click Get. Wait for the install to finish. Next, search for Kali Linux. Click Get and wait for the download to complete. Close the Microsoft Store window. Go to Start and type Kali and click the top result, Kali Linux. A window will pop up prompting that Kali Linux is installing. Wait for it. It usually takes around a couple of minutes. Enter new Unix username will pop up after the install is finished. Pick a username and pick a password. Retype your password and hit enter. You can type in the console cat slash etc slash os dash release to see the version of Kali Linux. Next, type sudo apt update, enter your password and hit enter. After that, type sudo apt full dash upgrade dash y. It might take a while. Since the Kali Linux that we have installed from Microsoft Store is a very limited version, I will show you how to install the full version. You can either choose a default Kali install, which is with default apps installed, or you can choose everything, which installs all additional apps. If you want the default install, type sudo apt install dash y Kali dash Linux dash default, and if you want everything, type sudo apt install dash y Kali dash Linux dash everything. For this video, I will install the default distribution. Also, make sure you have at least 25 gigabytes of free space on your drive. Wait for the process to finish. It might take a while since it depends on how fast your internet and computer are. There might be a series of configuration prompts for various services in Kali Linux. Here, on each one of these, choose yes or no according to your needs. To see what Linux distributions we have installed on WSL, go to Start menu and type PowerShell. In the shell window, type WSL list all. You can now see that we have Kali Linux installed. You should also do a WSL version check of the installed distribution. In the PowerShell window, Type WSL-L-V, and now you can see the version. You should have version 2. If for some reason you have version 1, type WSL-Set-Version-Distro name. In our case, it's Kali Linux and 2. After that, hit Enter. Now, I will show you how to install the Kali Linux GUI graphic user interface. In the console, type sudo apt install dash y kali dash win dash kex. Enter your password and hit enter. This will install the XFCE desktop environment for Kali Linux. 
wait for the process to finish, as it might take a while. Once it's finished, type kex win s. This will connect you to the VNC server. If you see any firewall prompt, allow it by clicking the Allow Access button. Next, type a new password for the interface, and verify it, and then press Enter. Type N on the Would You Like to Enter a View Only password, and press Enter. If for some reason you get an error like error connecting to the Kex server, like in my instance, do the following. Type sudo su. Next, type umount slash tmp slash dot x11 dash unix and hit enter. After that, type rm dash rf slash tmp slash dot x11 dash unix and hit enter. After that, type again kex win s enter your desired GUI password and hit enter. A VNC authentication window will pop up where you should put your GUI password, which you have previously put, and hit OK. And that's it! You are now inside the GUI of Kali Linux. To exit Kali Linux GUI, go to the top right corner and click the power icon and then click Log Out. If for some reason the GUI triggers again the same error after a restart of your computer, you should repeat the previous steps beginning with sudo su. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer them. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video.